Today we're going to the Waitomo Glowworm Cave. This is known to have a huge display of glowworms. If glowworms are your thing, this is the tour to do. We are heading to the huge entrance to the Waitomo Glowworm Caves, which is like a huge modern building in the middle of nowhere, really. After our tour guide goes over the house rules, she then presses a button and the door to the caves opens automatically. This is the most advanced caves I've ever seen. Our tour guide is putting the lights on to the different sections we're going to, sort of revealing it one by one so you can be like, ooh, ah, ee. Each room is revealed one by one with the lights all well placed so you can get to see all the huge and ancient rock formations. We are making our way down to Cathedral Cave, which is obviously it's so large, it's like a cathedral. And also it's said to have like amazing acoustics in here. The whole place is stunning. It's like a cathedral. They even say that they get some carol singers down here to sing at Christmas. It's like a big natural acoustic hall. And further at the other end of Cathedral Cave, the guide takes us down and shines the light at the glowworms to show us what glowworms look like in the light. Let me tell you the story of glowworms, it's pretty disgusting. It's a little yay big maggot that's gonna basically puke a little fishing line down there and shit some sugar to make some light. When he's catching a fly, he's gonna slurp it down, digest it, and then he's gonna feel fed enough to fuck. He's gonna find the closest maggot next to him, and then once that's done, the maggot that just been fucked is gonna lay 120 eggs. After about three days, one of the eggs is gonna hatch and there are gonna be 119 eggs next to him, which are all his brothers and sisters. And the maggot that just was born just decide, yeah, I'm gonna eat my brothers and sisters and the cycle start all over again. So we get to see those glowworms in complete darkness, which looks like really beautiful light. It's literally like being under the galaxy, right? It's like if the stars were like, <laughs> Oh, raise down the ceiling just right, right about two meters above your head. And I can just make up in shape. There's one, I think it's like a, a phoenix rising from the ashes. There's another one, which is like the side face of a troll. And yeah, just I just picture shapes while we're on the boat. Yeah, everyone's just like, oh. We're just looking up at all the twinkling blue lights. It's so intense because there's such a high concentration of glowworms here. And we're just like, ooh, it's like a, a galaxy of glowworms above our heads. And it's really awesome to see like they're such incredible creatures. And yeah, the tour's finished. It's quite a quick tour. In the biggest glowworm caves in the area, which is, uh, yeah, basically glowworm cave. I think that's the name of it. <laughs> so... <laughs> so there is a goat on me. <laughs> so this glowworm came. 